Nice try. You shot me? I heard you heal fast. And he's making his case for the task force again. But well, I thought the captain shot him down already. Well, apparently he's got a new argument. The Arrow made another appearance last night. And you forgot to tell me that you got Bibolo's name from shooting that storage guy in the leg. But well, technically, I didn't shoot him. But the Arrow gets results. He's a crazy man. Look, I don't actually disagree with you at the moment, but we wouldn't even have Bibolo's name if it weren't for the Arrow. So maybe instead of judging him, you should just be thanking him. Two things I won't be doing in this life, playing professional baseball and thanking that lunatic. Have you heard of color psychology? The theory that changes in the color spectrum can affect emotion. It is so nice to have another woman to talk to. I know. I was thinking that if Bivolo uses color to induce the temporary psychosis, maybe we can use light and Rainbow. Color to I like to surround my team with known quantities. That is because I find the unknown to be toxic, dangerous. Arrow is unknown. I can assure you, Dr. Wells, he's not dangerous. To us. How can I completely trust a man when I don't even know his name? And so I was hoping the smoke that you could help me trust him. Who is he under the hood? That is not my secret to tell. I figured out on my own. Well, did he really do the thing with the arrows? You knew he was gonna shoot me? Whoa, it is practically impossible to tell when Oliver's making a joke. Hey, we just got a ping from the facial recognition software on Bivolo, AKA Prism. Since when do we have facial recognition software? Happy Hanukkah. Where can I find him? Traffic cameras just caught him entering a residence at 168 Jarvis. I knew you'd be coming for me. I could see it in your eyes at the bank. When I turned those people against each other, it made you angry. <laughs> Have some real anger. You said Bivolo whammied you. No desire to go MMA on any of us? No. Nope. Yeah, I mean, something weird happened with his eyes for a sec. Weird thing? Yeah, everything went red. You're right. Okay. Next thing you know, Bivolo was gone. Look, obviously his powers didn't work on me. Caitlin, I'm not Ronnie. You gotta stop treating me like I am. You're right. You're not. You are such a lovable dummy. You went after Bivolo last night, alone, and you lost him. And you've never had a misstep? Of course I've had missteps. Barry, I have been living this life for almost eight years, encountering things that you can't even fathom, and I am still alive. I needed to keep learning, keep training, keep getting smarter. And until you get that, despite your best intentions, you will do more harm than good. A guy like you... It is affecting you, isn't it? ...and have any girl he wants. Jealousy's probably a new emotion for you, so you might be a little slow to get what it is that you're feeling. That's your theory? Absolutely. You will never be what I am. And that's gotta hurt your rock-hard pride, Ali. I told Felicity you didn't want my help. Yeah? You're finally right about something. Hey, how about you answer me when I ask you a question? Hey! How about you back off? Excuse me? Look, I work just as hard as anyone in this building. I don't need you constantly berating me to do my job. When it's done, you will have it, all right? You know what? This kind of anger? Good. Good acting, okay? But like the Mirakura situation in season two of Arrow with Roy, bad like this is influence like they're both influenced uh anger you know what i mean like kind of altered in i don't know anyways what i'm trying to say is i still think that roy overacted last season that's what i'm trying to say I'm so sick of seeing talking to me like that. He's still our boss. Now, I know you're upset about losing Bivolo. Wait, wait. You're just like him. Like Wells and Oliver and everyone else my whole life that didn't think I could get the job done. Do you want to help me, Joe? 
You want to help me? Get my dad out of prison. You helped put him there, didn't you? When I am not calm, you'll know. That was the arrow. He says Barry is acting strangely. Strangely how? He's been whammied. It's possible that his body is fighting off the effect, so it's hitting him slower. When it comes to rage, that is not a good thing. The longer you suppress your emotions... The bigger the explosion. Considering what he can do, how do we even stop him? None of us can stop Barry. Fortunately, Felicity knows someone who can. I think you better call back Oliver Queen. We're gonna need the Arrow's help. How the hell did you know? You are Barry from the future, aren't you? I don't know! Ah, this is so annoying! Both you and the Flash care about protecting this city. You would both give your lives for it. You're more like than you think, okay? He is not the bad guy. Wait, does he not know that you've he been having rendezvous? He me after I started the blog, and I've seen him a couple of times. A couple times? Why don't you tell me about this? <laughs> Guess you haven't read your girlfriend's blog. Hey, no! back before he kills Oliver. Me? I'll be more worried about what Oliver might have to do to Barry. Barry has superpowers. Oliver has a bow and arrow. Oliver's been doing this a lot longer. My money's on experience. My money's on speed. Please tell me you're not actually having this conversation right now. <laughs> you missed. No. Okay, so this is, this is like who would win in a fight, you know, Batman or Superman. And I always say, okay, that Batman would win because, okay, not because I don't think that Superman can handle himself and all that kind of stuff, but because Batman wouldn't go into a fight without being ready and prepared. And that's the exact same situation here. Oliver wouldn't go into a battle without knowing his surroundings, like he said earlier, and without knowing a way to actually stop him. You know what I mean? He's a thinker before he does stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hope that that made sense. Special kind of hangover. So, it was a tie. <laughs> we do still have your metahuman to take care of. Anything left in the tank? Well, if not, there's two of us, right? 
way. I will make you tear each other to pieces. Oh, okay. Sure. Blah, blah, blah. No prison can hold me. Heard it all before, pal. Adios, prison. I liked Rainbow Raider. Okay, you don't get to pick the names. I may not agree with your message, but thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Oh, I, I thought you said you're never going to thank him. Fully break down. Do you think you could isolate the genetic markers for me? Sure. What's the sample from? Canary's murder. Of course. Captain Singh approved the task force. You wanted me to believe the Flash was real. Now I do. You're right. I still have a lot to learn. There's one more thing. And you're not going to like it. That's not going to work out for you. And you need to let her go. For both of your sakes. Guys like us don't get the girl. How are you? Good. Good. It's been a long time. You know, Smoke, after... I'm it's, so sorry. No, I'm sorry. Is that the... The, like, random pregnancy thing that happened last season, but the flashback? That we never, we never touched up on? Was that the same girl? I think that's the same girl. Who was that? Hmm. Someone that I used to know. I was affected by one of the metahumans. He messed with my head. Don't contact me anymore, okay? Okay. Couple things. That was the girl that he cheated on Laura with and got pregnant, right? If that's the case, and she had the baby. Then all of us are daddy. I was wondering when that was going to come up again, because it was like just a random flashback and then they never did anything with it, but apparently they uh, maybe did it now? I don't know. Um, I don't know how Harrison Wells knows that Oliver Queen was the arrow. That was weird. Unless he is the Flash. But I don't think he is. I He's so evil. I, I don't know. Um, and then, that was, that was Caitlyn's fiancé, right? At the end? So he didn't even die in the particle accelerator? Kind of funny, actually. Because, uh... From what I've gotten from the show, and what I've been told, and what I remember, like from, you know, comics and games and everything, Caitlin Snow is supposed to be Killer Frost, like that's her, her name, right? And she's all about ice. I remember versing her on um, DC Universe Online. Damn, she's fucking hard to beat, I swear to god. Um, but... It's kind of funny that her fiancé is like, Fire! Fire and ice! Get it coming together! I don't know. Maybe that's the point. And I'm, I'm just catching on now, or I don't know. But yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. This was a really fun crossover. I love crossover episodes. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode.